people in this settlement are Burmese. And although this is on the eastern side of the Moi River and would technically be Thailand, it seems to be given up to the Burmese that come across the river here and attempt to sell things. Uh, sort of handed off across the border as it were. So it's an interesting place to come to. And further out there across there's the Moy River and then all of Myanmar, formerly Burma. And then just here is what's called the Friendship Bridge. Euphemistically called the Friendship Bridge, I suppose. So, and I have a story about this place because where we are right now is right here at the most western point in Thailand. So Now the story is that I used to come here in about 2010. Oh, here's a Burmese seller. Pretty optimistic, I should think. But back in about 2010, I had to come here about roughly every 90 days maximum in order to renew my visa because I had a non-immigrant B visa and uh, I would only get stamped in for 90 days and at the end of the 90 days maximum I had to leave the country. And so we did a visa run, very common in these parts for the expats. Um, so that was what I had to do every 90 days and I used to go to Aranya Pratet first, but now um, after that I came here because it was easier. And so I would come here and approach the border bridge where I would get out of my car and um, go and approach the immigration people in the Thailand side and I would get I would get stamped out of Thailand and then I would become an international traveler and I would walk across that bridge and go all the way over there and you can't even see it now because it's all overgrown to hell, but uh, believe me, it's a long way over to the Burmese side of the border, uh, Burmese side of the, yeah, Burmese side of the border, Burmese side of the river, where I would meet with the kind immigration people from Burma, who are always courteous and polite, and there's lots of horror stories about encounters with immigration people by foreigners, but I've never encountered it. I've always been polite and respectful to them and they reciprocate in the same way so I don't have any problem with them. As long as you're not trying to pull any fast ones, there's no problems. And so then they would ask me, are you going to be staying in Myanmar for a while for, <laughs> I don't know what for what purpose, I suppose going for a tour. But I was alone and I would always just smile and say, no, no, my wife and child are waiting for me back in Thailand, I have to go back. And they would smile and, and beaming at me saying, oh, you have a wife and a baby. Oh, yes, 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 how wonderful that is. Okay, well, here you go. 500 baht to pay for the visa. And they would stamp me into Myanmar and stamp me back out again. And so once again, I was an international traveler, marching my way back across the bridge until I encountered the Thai immigration people at the immigration point that perhaps you can even see way up there at the end of the bridge there. And then I would get stamped back into Thailand, call my wife to come and pick me up, go and have a cool drink after a very hot march across the bridge and back. And then we'd go and have some lunch and, and go back home. So that's the story of my visa run in Mae Sot, Thailand. <laughs>